Hello my gorgeous ones, welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia, here on my channel, I love all things affordable fashion and beauty. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, palette looks, all sorts of fun stuff, so if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. All right you guys, I'm really excited to test out this palette. I purchased the brand new Adept Cosmetics Flying Fiddles palette, and this palette, as soon as I saw the reveal, I thought, this is going to sell out and it did. I was correct about that. And I also thought, is this going to go down as the most beautiful and special neutral leaning palette of all time? I don't know. We have to test it out to see, but it sure has a possibility of doing that. So I'm actually going to create three looks. I'm going to do one on each eye today. And then tomorrow I'm going to have a cohesive both eyes, um, third look for you guys. I'll also show you guys some swatches on the side here in a minute, whenever I'm speaking and just give you my honest full rundown of this palette. So if that sounds good to you, keep on watching. All right, you guys, so very quickly, let's talk about outside packaging, how it's different from the other ones. As you can see, this is a lace overlay. This is actually their leather packaging with the lace overlaid on top of it. So it's not cardboard with lace, it's that faux leather with the lace. And then of course we have the inside, these are magnetic. And what's really, really confusing to me, and I, I'm like, am I, crazy am I seeing things differently she says that this is four mattes four duochromes and six shimmers but I'm gonna pop swatches over here of all of the shimmers I get six duochromes and four shimmers I see major shifts in six of these and I don't even know if you can really tell just by looking at it in the, you know, doing this with it. I mean, clearly, clearly this is a shifty shade right here. I also see a lot of shift in this shade whenever it's swatched. Obviously this one that kind of looks like an earth pattern on it. That one shifts. This one shifts a blue brown. Um, Let's see, the, this rust bunny is extremely shifty. And I also see a shift in this one as well. So, I mean, bonus for us, I guess, but I, I'm just really confused. Um, also, this is inspired by the um, iris, a Siberian iris. And they have all different types um, from what I looked up online, but this one was more so supposed to be inspired by the white and the, it says blue, but really the only, we get a couple of bluish, you know, like shimmer shifts in here, but you know, maybe the green stem, the white, the yellow, um, and then just maybe like the earth around it is what the um, inspiration is. I just think this is the most kind of universal wearable palette of special shades I've ever, maybe not ever seen, but I can't really think of another one off of the top of my head. Um, also, I when I first saw this, I thought this looks like the Metropolis palette, or similar to from Natasha Denona, but after swatching it, and that's the like power of duochromes and multichromes. I actually think there's multichromes in here too, even though she only says duochromes. You can look at a palette and think it looks one way and as soon as it's swatching on the eyes it transforms and this is so shifty that what you first see is not what you get I think in a good way with this I know someone had thought maybe it was repetitive and it's really not um, those shifts make it different and um, someone also thought it was warm tone but it's definitely more cool tone maybe some of those shimmers lean warm but I see more cool tones with this so I'm just going to dive right in. I'm going to create um, two different looks today and then we'll do a third look tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get started with the looks. All right, so I'm first going to go in with Tan Coffee Rose. That's what I'm going to go in with first on both eyes, actually. Obviously, this being a very shimmer heavy palette with only four mattes, you're not going to get a ton of variation of the matte looks that you can do with this palette. Um, that was definitely intentional though. I know on her part, she had said this was a palette that a lot of people had been asking for. 
and by that she meant more of a neutral special shades palette so she only went with four mattes in here for some that may not be enough um i don't you know like i said it's not supposed to be a very versatile matte palette this is for the people who they don't want to have to think about their mattes they just want to focus on laying down what's in the palette and then playing with the special shades, switching those up. That's how you're going to get your different looks is with the shimmers. So I am going to do an inverse of this eye on this eye. So both is, are going to start with this first shade. And next on this eye, I'm going to go in with the Daylily, which is like the deeper kind of mauve in here. Tomorrow I'm going to do same here, but then I'm going to go in with Sahara on the outer portion and then flip flop the bottom lashes with, with the opposite side. It'll make sense here in a minute, but, and then obviously I'm going to use, Ooh, that's pigmented. Ooh. Okay. This, this deeper one is definitely pigmented. So each eye is going to have a different combination of the special shades that was very pigmented this is that i'm trying to think of when she changed her matte formula to be a bit better a bit smoother and more pigmented i want to say it was with the arrow inspired palette i know i i'm pretty sure that's the first one that i noticed like oh these mattes in here are really smooth and different from say Leighton and Hendren and um, Amunet. But yeah, I, this is a pigmented shade right here. It's really pretty though. On me, this leans a little bit more purple than it does mauve. My skin, in the palette, it looked pretty mauve. On my eye, it's turning more purple, so. Depending on skin tone, it could do something different on you. I don't mind, but I consider mauve to be like slightly more neutral looking than purple. So just keep that in mind. Also, I, I looked right before I started this video and it looks like this palette will be available for a pre-order aiming to go out end of February, she said. So, but I, I think she kind of leaves room for like no guarantees, like something may come up, but I believe there's going to be a pre-order. I'm not surprised that this sold out at all. Okay, so for lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with Sahara, this deeper brown shade. And this is the shade that on my right eye will be out in the outer portion. And then I'll use the purple under here on this eye. This is more of a warm tone brown, I would say. I mean, it's called Sahara, so think about like a desert deep brown. I do actually think I'm gonna go in with the tan toffee rose, that first shade, and just kind of put that more towards the center and blend it in to the Sahara shade. Okay, and we see how kind of simple that is when you take away all of the options for mattes. It's kind of like, well, you just kind of put down a couple that are here and then now the hard part is deciding on which shimmer to use. This is gonna be really difficult to decide. So I think what I want to do first is lay one down in the outer portion that's not as shifty. So let's see, we have Viola Bronze and then we have Meadow Foam. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with Meadow Foam. I'm gonna put that just more on the outer portion. I mean, this is beautiful, even though it's not 
one of the shifty shimmers. It is so sparkly and reflective. That is a beautiful, beautiful bronze. This may end up being a palette too that is really, did I just do that? Who just accidentally just plops a shimmer just right on their cheek. Um, I was saying this might be one of those palettes that is a perfect companion palette so that if you have a palette of mattes, you pull this out for all of the special shades um, that you'd want to combine with it. Or also, you know, if you have a palette that um, the mattes would go, you know, thinking what what else do I want to pair with the shimmers that are in here? Go for another palette that has mattes. That, like, I think this shimmer would be really pretty with more neutral. Like, this is real purple. But if you had more, like, bronzy, khaki, taupe, even, like, olive mattes, I think it would go really pretty with that shimmer, too. So, I definitely, I've, I've got to go in with Dahlia. I've been kind of dying to go in with this one. It is super shifty oh wow yeah so this one when I first opened the palette even whenever I was shooting it outside and I think this is one that a lot of people thought Dahlia and Daffodil were the same here they show up clear as day different but in a lot of product shots they both just looked green but this is very, very, very shifty green pink. Ah, it's gorgeous. And it's so smooth. There are two in particular, Dahlia and I think it was Rust Bunny. Maybe even Arisema, Arisema. Those were so like just slick and smooth when I put my finger in it. So... Yeah, that's so pretty. All right, now I'm trying to decide between the Arisema, Arisema and Yellow Bronwyn. Which ones do I want to do? I'm trying to remind myself what these look like. Okay, this one's more green, well, it is, but then it shifts and then it's not. Okay, you know what? Let's, I think I'm going to go with the Arisima. I hope I'm not completely butchering that word. I think this one goes well with the Dahlia. Because it also has kind of a green, pink shift it's just brighter let's pop that inner there's definitely like a darker kind of green base to that one so just to lighten it up I'm gonna take the honey splurge which is definitely the brightest shimmer in here the most inner corner worthy if you like a bright inner corner Brighten that up, which it definitely does. Okay, I think we're looking pretty. It's definitely going to be, I think, one of those two that the lashes and liner is going to make this really pop. It's definitely more like monochromatic looking. I mean, you do have the shift in it somewhat, but more monochromatic. All right, now we are going to do the right eye. And like I said, I'm going to go in same with this tan toffee rose, just like we did on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to do Sahara on the outer portion. So this is going to be more brown and a little bit warmer as well. Blend it in. I like this shade. I really do. I kind of, of course, you know, I'm in the middle of it, in the thick of it, but I can already tell you, I just, I kind of wish there was one more matte in here. I like that you're getting a lot of bang for your buck 
with the shimmers and the duochromes in here. And I don't think that you have repeat shades of those. I just kind of, I wish there was one more kind of neutral leaning matte in here because this one turned so purple for me. This is really the only kind of neutral shade in here on my skin. And I wish there was one, one more. Okay, now for that inverse, we're going to do Daylily, this shade, right here on the outer eye. And then I'm also going to do the same thing I did on this eye and go in with that um, tan toffee rose in the inner portion. Okay, I definitely know that I'm going to go in with Rest Bunny and viola bronze and yellow bronwyn i believe i want to leave all the more green tones for the look tomorrow and kind of go more monochromatic green tomorrow maybe with another one of the mattes so and then i'll have used every shade in here if i do that so rust bunny and then viola bronze i'm trying to figure out which one to put okay I think I'm going to do, Rust Bunny does have a kind of like orangey bronze and green shift to it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put that on most of the lid. Oh yeah, that's pretty. These definitely have a darker base to them with the shifts. So like, you turn and you get like a deep green, and then you also have that bright kind of coral, like a fiery coral shift. That's super pretty. I really, really like that one a lot. And then Viola Bronze, I'm gonna put this inner portion Yeah, those actually pair really, really nice together. They kind of flow into each other well. Then I'm gonna do that yellow Bronwyn right here. Ooh, I like that one. That's another perfect inner corner shade. It has like a hint of green to it. Really, really bright. That's a really, really pretty inner corner. Let me put just like a tiny bit up here. Mm hmm I like that. All right, you guys, I'm gonna put on the lashes and liner. I'm gonna get in some better lighting to show you up close, and then we will talk about these first two looks. <laughs> in the other lighting and I think this is really pretty I think it's fairly subtle which I do think is what the palette is going for it's a way to wear special shades really shiny metallic -y shimmers but still make it where you could wear it every day um not the most just like bam looks that I've done but again I don't think that's what the palette is going for. I'll just tell you guys real quick on the lower lash lines. I did two of the multi-chrome gel liners from Mora. So on this one, I have this brighter kind of yellowy orange one. And then on this eye, I, oh, this one is called Electrica. Yes, Electrica. This one is called Flare and it's more of kind of like a bright 
pinky orange red and the shimmers they kind of in some lights look are the same ish this shift is definitely more of pink and this one's more of a bright coral just to let you guys know on the lips i did use this she glam i used the liner side of it glam 101 mm, this is deep caramel and then for the lip, I used one of the Love Swipes from Kaja. It is Swipe Right. And then, and then for a little gloss, I used the Winx, um, NYX, Winx, Fate Saga, whatever, Terra is the shade. I use this a lot to top the lips. So I really like this. I think it's pretty. I think it's wearable, but also people would be like, ooh, what's on your eyes? And not think like you look like a biaso, a clown. So yeah, I think this is pretty and we will go ahead and get into look number three tomorrow. All right, you guys, day number two. And I don't think I've ever filmed with my crazy wild mane before on YouTube. So if you're like, who is this person? Yeah, my hair is um, still a little damp. Uh, and yeah, this is my, my lion mane that I try to embrace from time to time. So Okay, today, I think I want to go pretty monochromatic green, um, and I thought I would pull in the other mattes today too, but since I've used them all except for this one, I think I'm just only going to use this one matte. Surely, people who get this palette are sometimes only going to use one matte since there's only four in here, like maybe they're in a hurry, um, or maybe they want to do something dramatic, but they don't want to think about it too hard. So I'm just going to use this Kelly green shade. I may go something kind of dramatic, like a, <laughs> a dramatic underwing here. We'll just see how this goes, but I'm going to start laying down this. Oh, did I say Kelly green? It's green Kelly. That must be a an actual name of a flower. I know that's not like a typo or anything. Now that's making me wonder, green Kelly. So it's a Kelly that's green, right? I guess maybe there's a Kelly flower. Maybe there's different shades. If I remember, I'll have it on the screen. I'll show you an example. If you don't see something there, then I forgot. Okay, so I'm kind of just doing my Mickey Mouse ears. That's what I've started calling this technique is Mickey Mouse ears. Because on me, that's kind of how it it looks since I have the brow bones that hang over. It's my my style of halo eye that's not technically everyone else's halo eye, but so mine's just called Mickey ears, but I do this first, make my Mickey ears, and then I go and kind of connect the two with this shade. And I'm working around, you guys, I feel like a snake. I'm shedding skin every day because I've kind of worked up the ability to, or the tolerance to do a chemical exfoliant every evening. So like my AHA, BHA, um, like right now I'm using the Polish Choice one, the new one, and it's pretty potent. And literally every day I'm shedding skin. It just sloughs off the old, brings in the new skin. And I do think it's, it's lovely what it does for my skin, but I'll be doing my eye makeup and all of a sudden I'm like, what is this? And it's just rolling exfoliated skin <laughs> off my my eyelid like you guys needed to know that but anyway if you see me wiping something away that's what it is I don't know that this is my favorite matte in here I like the shade it's just a little harder to work with it's doable it's not bad but it's not like a buttery soft, easy blend. Like I think this could go patchy if you aren't careful. Just, just let FYI. And true to form for my skin that turns everything cool toned, 
this is not very green on me. This is pulls more blue. So on someone else's skin that pulls warm, it may be more green on you or more kind of like a, I don't know, like a greenish teal. But for me, this is definitely pulling almost a sapphire blue. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with that. I'm gonna start putting it on the lower lash line. I think I just wanna draw this out and it may change the shape up top, we'll see. But yeah, I wore this green shirt because I often match my, my makeup. Sometimes I'll contrast, you know, sometimes if it's just like I'm wearing black and then I may have on like pink eyeshadow or something, but a lot of times I do coordinate my outfits to my makeup and you can tell like this is green this looks blue my skin is crazy that way I would be very very curious to see if it pulls green on some people okay I'm just gonna exaggerate that out this way and I'll probably just connect these to bottom to top this kind of gives like a 60s mod look all right off camera I did actually use this more flat tapered brush here to really pack this on and kind of get it even on the eyes definitely Formula wise, that green blue is not my favorite, but it's not horrible. It just, it does take some work. Okay, now it's time to play with the fun part. So we have blue crown, which has the brown blue shift. Pom pom button is the deep green. We also have daffodil to play with and scorpion glass. Okay, I think first I'm gonna go in with a blue crown and start putting that down on the outer portion. Ooh, I like the blue shift here. I feel like the most common duochrome ever is the brown blue shift. Even I even have a Wet n Wild palette. The Scooby Doo palette has a shade like this. I think I have a Profusion Cosmetics palette that there's a duochrome and it's the brown blue. But this particular shift of blue is a little bit more unique. I feel like to my collection, it's really really pretty. I do like that. Okay. Then the pom-pom button, let's put a little bit of green in here. That's a really pretty shade of green as well. It's a little bit dark to be putting in the inner portion since that blue shift is so much brighter, but maybe we'll just kind of frame that blue. It's looking like dark earth here. We're definitely seeing you can go deep with this and do like a smoked out deep kind of dark look for sure, even using the shimmers. But I am going to lighten it up a bit with daffodil, the brighter green. Oh yeah, that definitely brightens things up. That's pretty too. You know, I've already kind of decided in playing with this of how I'm amending my first impressions. And I don't mean whether it's a good or bad palette. I just mean calling it a neutral palette, I think is a little bit misleading. And I would call this an earthy palette not a neutral palette and earthy I consider having you know greens browns there is one brown in here but also blues like basically the earth obviously just things you see in earth the sky the water 
the grass, the ground. I get more of that than just like a straight neutral palette from this. Still really pretty, just I feel maybe slightly marketed. Well, she does just say this is like a more neutral leaning palette. I don't know that she really ever said this is a straight neutral palette. But I think a lot of us were assuming and calling it a neutral palette. Okay, then I'm going to take Yellow Bronwyn because it's such a fun, bright inner corner. And pop that. Oh, yeah. I love that, like, this one, I didn't even need to wet it. I'm using a brush, which a lot of times shimmers for me just don't pick up with the brush or I'd really have to wet it. I did not even have to do that. It's so bright and sparkly. Super pretty. All right, you guys, I think this is really, really nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on the lashes liner, do the natural lighting and come up, come up, come back and wrap up Flying Fiddles. <laughs> somewhere because I wrapped up the video and realized I didn't tell you guys um, the lip and the lip liner, eyeliner. So I use the Mora Cosmetics Phoenix Multi-Chrome Liner. It's a really bright green that I love. Then this is the Makeout Club Nude Mousse Liner from Freck Beauty Shade 05. This has a moussey texture for a liner. It's really smooth. Really like that. Then I use the e.l.f. O-Face Lipstick in No Doubt. It's a gorgeous nude. And then for a little gloss, I use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Sun. So I edited this. So, all right, you guys, I'm really into this look. I know that it's more dramatic. Now I feel very like 70s with the whole like big hair, the wavy hair, um, <laughs> just the eyes I don't know but I'm digging it I feel like a diva and I really 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 like it I wasn't necessarily expecting to go this dramatic but I like it a lot and I think it's kind of cool because it shows that this palette can go in that direction if someone was hesitant to get it because they're like oh it's a little too neutral for me I like more drama well you can definitely get some drama with it but the looks yesterday I felt like were pretty toned down so I really, really enjoy this palette a lot. I will give you a little tip on this screen. I kind of fixed the issue. I went in with a different brush that was more fluffy. The one that I was originally using was a little bit more densely packed. When I went in with a fluffy brush a while ago to kind of make it not so patchy, it took care of it like that. So maybe it was a brush issue. Um, I think Something to keep in mind with this palette is that skin tone could have a factor on whether this pulls more cool toned. It's not a warm tone palette, but I just wonder if some people, like if this would be more of a deep mauve and this would be more of a deep green, whereas on me, this was a purple and this was a blue. And um, I do also think this is, like I said, more of an earthy toned than just flat out neutral, which that might excite some people that thought it was going to be boring, you know, even though it's like, ooh, special shades and shimmers, but it's too neutral. Well, it's, it's really kind of a mix of both. So I think you get a lot more in here than initially I thought. I do still wish there was one more matte shade in here. Just one more. I don't know what I would take out because all the shimmers are so pretty. I think honestly, so we have Meadow Fan and then we have Viola Bronze. I think I would have taken out one of those and put in like a khaki mat or, um, you know, maybe even like a, a cool tone taupe. But as it is, it's still a really beautiful palette. I think that it's really fun. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. I really liked my looks. I believe I used every shade. I could not remember if I used Scorpion Glass. 
I think that I did though. Or did I just swatch it on my finger? I, if I didn't, it's a really pretty shade, um, shifty shade. I use every other shade in here for sure. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I believe that there's kind of a pre-order going on right now that she's going to ship at the end of February. Um, she said maybe earlier if possible. So $62, you can use someone's code on it. Um, so find a code out there. And I do think it's worth it. I really, really do. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know which look that you like the best. And as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.